population dynamics represent a popular and robust application of differential equations to the field of ecology. We'll discuss population dynamics in this section, then return to the material when we have more tools under our belt towards the end of the course. In this video, I am going to introduce the general population model. We'll define a function we're interested in, P of t, that gives the population of some animal species. And this population changes with time. And our goal for this video is going to set up, going to be to set up a differential equation dp dt. was something. To accomplish this goal, we'll define two other functions, beta of t times delta of t. And beta of t and delta of t are essentially birth rate and death rate. Beta of t is births per unit of population per time unit. And delta is the same, except instead of births, we've got deaths. And let's ask the question over a small time interval from t to t plus h, where h is a small number, how does population change. And we will answer this question two ways, and then set those answers equal to one another. Well, to compute the change over an interval. We look at the population at the end of the interval, and we look at the population at the beginning of the interval, and we subtract. Let's now approximate, hence this approximately equal equal to symbol, the change in the population another way. The population is changing over this interval. That's kind of the point of the question. So is the birth rate, so is the death rate. But if this interval was small enough, 
the population, the birth rate, and the death rate should be approximately constant. And the number of births should be approximately the birth rate at the beginning of the interval times the population at the beginning of the interval times the length of the interval. And the number of deaths should be approximately the death rate at the beginning of the interval times the population at the beginning of the interval times the length of the interval. Take this, divide both sides by H, and we get our old friend from calculus one, the difference quotient. This approximate equality comes from the assumption that on this interval, the population, the birth rate, and the death rate don't change much. If we add the minor assumption that these functions are continuous, then the smaller the interval gets, the less time there is for change to occur, and the better that assumption becomes. Therefore, in the limiting case, this approximate equality becomes an exact equality over here, taking the limit doesn't do anything because there aren't any H's on the right hand side. I am going to take the opportunity to pull these common P of T's out. And on the left, this of course is the definition of the derivative dp dt equals our right beta minus delta p. And this is the general population model. And I think I've mentioned this before. It's something you just have to kind of get used to in differential equations that we frequently don't bother using function notation, even when things are in fact functions. So beta is a function, Delta is a function, population is a function. We are not writing beta of t, delta of t, or p of t. You just have to remember that these are functions of time. In the next video, 
or the next few videos, we'll look at different cases involving different betas and deltas.